A is for Aloha, a Hawaii alphabet, written by Uilani Goldsbury and illustrated by Tammy Yi. A is for Aloha, a Hawaii alphabet, written by Uilani Goldsbury and illustrated by Tammy Yi. A. With a single word, Hawaiians can express feelings of love, compassion, mercy, kindness, charity, regards, affection, hello, and goodbye. The word ku'u means my. Add aloha and you have ku'u aloha, or my love. The origin of the word aloha is lost in the shadows of ancient Hawaii. But if we break the word down, alo means to be in the presence of, and ha is the breath of life to be in the presence of life. Aloha is vital to the Hawaiian way of life. This one word communicates all of the traditions of care and generosity that make Hawaii such a special place. A is also for the Aloha Tower. In the early 1900s, travel to and from the islands was done entirely by steamship. The people of Honolulu built the tower on the harbor side of the piers to greet passengers or send them home with a fond farewell. The building was originally used as a maritime communications and harbor control center. Today, the observation deck is open to the public. A is for aloha. Aloha is our letter A. It means so many things. Hello, goodbye, and love to you. Fair wishes this world brings. B is for the state bird. The nene is Hawaiian's goose with feathers beige and brown. It lives atop the great volcanoes and never goes to town. In 1957, the nene goose became our state bird. This distant cousin of the Canada goose is brown with black and white feathers lined up in diagonal rows. Scientists believe that the nene were blown off course during one of their migratory journeys from Canada to Mexico and it landed on the islands of Hawaii. Today, the nene lives in the slopes of the great volcanoes and is on the list of endangered species. B is also for the Bishop Museum, established in 1889 by Charles Reed Bishop to honor his late wife, Princess Bernice Pauhahi, the last descendant of the Royal Kamehameha family. Her final wish was to help Hawaii's children develop a greater pride in their heritage. Located near downtown Honolulu, the museum is the largest in the state and has over 25 million items that tell the natural and cultural history of the islands, including ancient wooden surfboards, canoes, finely carved tikis, and royal feather capes. The exhibit tells the story of the extinct and endangered plants and animals. C is for capital. Hawaii's capital, Honolulu, is like a jewel so bright it shines against the lush green mountains and sparkles in the night. Honolulu is Hawaii's capital city on the island of Oahu. The word Honolulu means protected bay. The city and county of Honolulu is the biggest by area in the world. Its land stretches out nearly 1,500 miles long because it includes all of the islands north of Niihau up to Kuratoll. The city of Honolulu lies on Oahu's south shore. It was once called the White City because of all its coral buildings. With a population of 879,156, Honolulu is the 11th largest city in the United States. C is also for our state capitol building in downtown Honolulu, which was designed to resemble a volcano. Forty large pillars support the roof and, present, and represent coconut palms, and the eight smaller pillars that hold up the top floor symbolize Hawaii's eight major islands, Hawaii, Kaho'olowe, Kauai, Lanai, Maui, Molokai, and Ni'ihau, and Oahu. The main courtyard opens to the sky with a dome top in the shape of volcanic cinder cone and a reflecting pool that represents the Pacific Ocean surrounding the entire building. D. D is for the dance of hula. There are two styles of hula. One is one older than the other. Kahiko is the ancient one. 
Aoana is the younger. The ancient Hawaiians didn't have a written language, so they chanted their stories, and to add drama they danced. The hula portrayed tales of heroism and harvest, god worship and fertility. There were passionate dances done by torchlight. When Christian missionaries came to Hawaii, they did not understand the hula, and they didn't like Hawaiians worshiping the ancient gods. The missionaries made the hula illegal for anyone to practice or dance. Today, when you come to the islands, you'll see the ancient, or kahiko hula, performed to the sound of drums and chanting, the modern, or awana hula, with smoother movements and guitars and singing. D is also for drums. The ancient Hawaiians used drums of all sizes. Small ones sounded like heavy rain on grass-thatched roof, and large ones rumbled like booming thunder. Chanters used a pahu made from partially hollowed out tree trunk and topped with tightly stretched shark skin to pound out a steady beat for their dancers. They also used a small puinu or coconut knee drum made from a coconut shell and covered in fish skin. E is for other forms of energy. The trade winds shear the ridges and spin the windmills round. They turn the energy of the sky into electricity for our towns. In Hawaii, unlike most places in the United States, electricity is generated using oil-fueled turbines. But Hawaii has worked to develop three different types of alternative energy. Wind, hydroelectricity, and geothermal. The trade winds blow constantly against the mountains. Scientists trying to harness this infinite energy source have built a number of wind farms on the islands of Hawaii, Kauai, and Maui that supply electricity to sugar mills and communities. Small generators also capture energy flowing from the mountain streams on the, these islands to create hydroelectricity. And geothermal energy is produced by harvesting the trapped gases from deep within the active volcanoes on the island of Hawaii. E is also for the ancient energy of the ku kui, or candle nut tree, our state tree. The old Hawaiians used this tree for many things. They strung a few kukui nuts together and then placed them in a lava rock bowl. It lit and lit wicks to make lamps to illuminate their houses. They also squeezed oil from the nuts and used it as medicine or chopped up the nut meat to flavor their cooking. F is for state flower. Our F is the yellow hibiscus, so delicate and so fair. Its hues are like the sunshine, a state flower beyond compare. The state flower of Hawaii is the yellow hibiscus. It symbolizes the delicate balance in the islands and radiates the color of sunshine. In 1923, the territory of Hawaii named the hibiscus all colors and varieties its official flower. But in 1988, the state legislature decided that since the yellow hibiscus, or the pua alo alo, is one of only five hibiscus species native to the islands, it should be the, on it should be the one flower that proudly represents our beautiful state. F is also for our state's unofficial fish called humu humu nuku nuku kapua a, it is pronounced hu mu hu mu nu ku nu ku a pu a a. This little fish lives in the shallow reefs along the coasts of all the Hawaiian islands and grows to be about 10 inches long. The Hawaiian word humu humu means trigger fish for the trigger like fin on its back. Nuku nuku means snout and mi a means of and pua'a means pig. So, can you guess what he looks like? G is for state gem. The black coral of Hawaii grows in the deepest sea. It's the color of young lava and it looks like a leafless tree. Our state gem, black coral, comes from the deep water beyond the reefs. Coral is actually the name of a group of marine animals related to jellyfish and sea anemones. Individually, called polyps, these tube-like little creatures live together in colonies. In the deep sea, li 
Live, black coral isn't really black at all. It's sometimes yellow, green, or even orange. When the polyps are gone, their crusty houses turn to a very, very dark brownish black. G is also for the Hawaiian green sea turtle. Some people call them the birds of the ocean because of the way they fly through the water. Their flippers move in up and down motion like the wings of a bird. The Hawaiians named the sea turtles honu, young honu, live in the shallow reefs eating the seaweed that grows there. Like the Hawaiian monk seal, the Hawaiian green turtle is on the endangered species list. You can see lots of green sea turtles when you snorkel in the reefs off any of the islands. Honu aren't afraid of humans and will come up close to watch you watch them. H is for the Hokulea. Hawaii's Hokulea is a modern voyaging canoe. It catches the wind in triangular sails like the ancient ones used to do. The Hawaiian voyaging canoe, called the Hokulea, was launched on March 8, 8, 1975. This modern replica of the vessels that brought Polynesians to Hawaii has traveled through the Pacific. It is a living school used to teach young Native Hawaiians the art of open ocean navigation. In ancient times, navigators used the stars, the tides, the currents, and the flight paths of birds to find their way across the vast landscape of the Pacific. Since its maiden voyage, the Hokulea has been joined by two sister ships, the Hawaii Loa, christened in 1993, and the Iosepa, launched November 3, 2001. H is also for Hoku. The ancient Polynesians who sailed to Hawaii used their knowledge of star movement to find their way across the Pacific. They called this type of astronomy Eo Hoku. Eo means teaching and Hoku means star. Today, using 13 giant telescopes on the summit of the big island's Mauna Kea, scientists study those same stars. Honolulu has its own zenith star. It rises directly above the city and is named Arcturus. I is for the Aolani Palace. Aolani Palace is the home of Hawaii's kings. It's the only place in America where the echo of monarchy rings. Aolani Palace, the only royal palace in American soil, is located in downtown Honolulu next to the state capitol building. King David Kalakaua and his wife, Queen Kapiolani, built the palace in 1882 and named it Aolani, which means royal hawk. It cost the kingdom $360,000. The king loved to travel and he designed this palace to look like his favorite castles in Europe. There are high ramparts and beautiful staircases made of koa wood. The Iolani Palace had electricity and telescopes before the White House in Washington, D.C. I is also for the film industry. The opening montage for the 1970s television series Hawaii Five-O shows Detective Steve McGarrett, played by Jack Lord, standing in the fictional office at the Iolani Palace. The movie and television industry has been in love with the islands since the attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941. At least five TV shows or feature films are shot on location in the islands each year. Some well-known movies include Jurassic Park and the James Bond thriller Die Another Day. J is for Jasmine. Princess Kaiulani, favored child of Hawaii, named Jasmine Blossoms for her peacocks and called them Sweet Peacockhe. Hawaii's favorite princess, Victoria Kaiulani Kala Niuna Ahila Lapa Pala Kawiku Kui Luna Lilo, lived with her parents on a beautiful estate in Waikiki called Aina Ao. She loved the sweet scented Chinese jasmine blossoms that were planted on the grounds of her home so much that she named these flowers Pikake the Hawaiian word for peacock, her favorite bird. Today, small pearl-like peacocke buds are sewn into lays, and no one gives or receives them without remembering Ka'iulani. 
J is also for Hawaii's jovial King David Kalakua. His nickname was the Merry Monarch because he loved music, dancing, parties, and the finest food and drinks. He was the first monarch to circumnavigate the globe during his round-the-world tour in 1881, and when he came home, he built the Aiolani Palace. The Hawaiian culture enjoyed a revival during King Kalakua's reign. He encouraged his people to speak their native language, dance the hula, and celebrate their culture. K is for Kamehameha. King Kamehameha enjoyed both honor and fame. He united all the islands under one benevolent reign. When King Kamehameha I, Kamehameha the Great, set out to conquer the islands of Hawaii, Maui, Lanai, Molokai, and Oahu in 1795, he mounted cannons on his large double-hulled canoe and won all of the battles. After he united the islands under his reign, the Kingdom of Hawaii enjoyed a period of peace. Kamehameha created the legal system and used taxes to promote trade with America and European countries. When he died in 1819, his high priests followed ancient tradition and moved his bones to protect his mana, power. Kamehameha's final resting place remains a mystery. K is also for Kamehameha's flag. Before becoming a state, Hawaii was an independent kingdom. During his reign, Kamehameha flew the British Union Jack, a gift from Captain George Vancouver, above his royal residence. America wanted Kamehameha to be more neutral, so he ordered a new flag to be made. The Hawaiian flag, now our state flag, had eight stripes of white, red, and blue. They represent the eight main islands of Hawaiian chain. The Union Jack is still in the upper left corner, a symbol of the king's friendship with Britain. L is for lays. Hawaii's lays begin with L, sweet flowers sewn in garlands, a ring of greeting and of love that celebrate the islands. In Hawaii, a lei is a gift of aloha. It is a necklace of flowers that is given at special occasions like birthdays, graduations, anniversaries, luau's, and at farewell parties. The ancient Hawaiians even presented leis to their gods during solemn religious ceremonies and farmers wore leis so that crops would be blessed. Today, Hawaii celebrates Lei Day on May 1st of every year. There are lei making contests and lots of parties. School children gather flowers and make leis to decorate the graves of fallen soldiers at the Veterans Cemetery at Punchbowl Crater. L is also for Luau, a Hawaiian feast. Ancient Hawaiians called dinner pa'ina, or aha'ina, not luau. Luau is the Hawaiian name for taro leaves that are used to wrap food before placing it in imu, underground oven. In 1856, a newspaper writer described a Hawaiian feast and mistakenly called it a luau. The name stuck. Most luau's offer Hawaiian specialties like kalua pig, lomi lomi salmon, poi, and haupia, a type of coconut pudding. But since some visitors don't enjoy these traditional foods, modern menus also include American favorites like fried chicken, salad greens, teriyaki beef, and chocolate cake. <clears throat> M. Each year, from late November to mid-April, humpback whales migrate to Hawaiian waters to breed, give birth, and nurse their young. Adult humpbacks grow to more than 40 feet long and weigh more than 40 tons. They usually congregate in the waters off Maui and along the Big Island's Kona coast. M is also for the monk seal. The ancient Hawaiians called them Ilio Holo Ikai Uau, which means the dog that runs in the rough seas. These endangered seals are called monk because they look bald and have a fold of skin behind their heads that makes them look like a monk's hood. Monk seals live in the tiny islands and atolls that lie near the northwest of the main Hawaiian islands. M is for sea mammals. Dolphins, seals, and whales. Mammals of the sea ply the channel waters between the islands of Hawaii.
N is for natural resources. Natural resources are letter N. The exports of Hawaii, pineapple, coffee, and sugarcane help fuel our state's economy. All of Hawaii's natural resources are found above the ground. Did you know that Hawaii is the only state in the U.S. that grows coffee? And more than one-third of the world's commercial supply of pineapples from com come from the Aloha State. The Big Island of Hawaii is the world's leading supplier of macadamia nuts and orchids. N is also for newcomers. Ancient Hawaiians lived on these islands alone for thousands of years before Captain James Cook brought Westerners to Hawaii. The Hawaiian name for newcomers is Malihimi. The word is used to describe a stranger, foreigner, tourist, guest, or someone who is visiting for the first time. O is for Oahu. Most Hawaiian people live on the island of Oahu. They play in Waikiki and go to work in Honolulu. The island of Oahu is known as the gathering place. It is the third largest Hawaiian island and the most densely populated. The state capital of Honolulu is located here, and so is the Honolulu International Airport. There are over 100 world-famous beaches on Oahu, along with one-third of the state's best surfing spots. The entire island is slightly larger than the city of Houston, Texas. O is also for Hawaii's outer islands. The nickname given to the, outer, the other five large islands in the Hawaiian chain Hawaii, Maui, Lanai, Molokai, and Kauai. All the Hawaiian islands are similar, but each has a nickname that distinguishes it from the others. The island of Hawaii is called the Big Island for obvious reasons. It is twice the size of all the other Hawaiian islands combined. Maui is called the Valley Isle because of the isthmus formed between the West Maui Mountains and Halakea Volcano. Lanai is the secluded island because very few ships or planes stop there for visits. Molokai is the friendly island, and Kauai is the garden island because it receives over 500 inches of rain per year. P. Polynesian voyagers, without the aid of a compass, navigated over 2,000 miles of open ocean nearly a thousand years before Columbus. Relying on the migratory patterns of seabirds, varied coloration in the clouds, debris floating on the water, and the scent of exposed reefs, ancient mariners accurately directed their large double-hulled canoes to the Hawaiian Islands. Scientists believe that early migration to the Hawaii originated from the Marquias Islands, Riatea in the Society Islands and Samoa during the 11th and 12th centuries. P is also for petroglyph, an ancient drawing etched into lava rock and stone. The Hawaiians call these images ki'i pohaku, which means stone carving. Petroglyphs are usually found in clusters like those on the Big Island in a place called Puaku, near an old lighthouse on the island of Lanai. There are images of men, women, and children surfing, hunting, running, dancing, and marching, traveling, and fishing. There are also little holes cut out of the rock where parents placed the umbilical cords of their newborns for good luck. P is for the Polynesians. Polynesian explorers braved the open sea. Traveling through wind and blinding sun, they discovered Hawaii. Q is for queen. Hawaii's last queen, Lili Uokalani, was her name. Lost her throne to businessmen, but her heart they could not claim. Hawaii's last reigning monarch, Queen Lili Uokalani, was born September 2, 1838, in Honolulu. In 1891, her brother, King David Kalakua, died while on a trip to San Francisco, leaving the throne to Lili Uokalani. Her reign was very short. After four years, a group of American businessmen overthrew the Hawaiian government and placed the queen under arrest in the Aiolani Palace. With all her many accomplishments, Lili Uokalani is perhaps best remembered for writing the famous farewell song, Aloha Oi. Another key word is quilt. American missionaries from New England taught Hawaiian women to make blankets. 
They quickly developed the elaborate appliqued flower, leaf, and vine designs that are now the hallmark of the Hawaiian quilt. But the most famous quilt in Hawaii is one made by Queen Liliuokalani. Kalani. It is displayed in her prison room on the second floor of the Aiolani Palace. The Queen's quilt documents her 10-month imprisonment. R is for rainforest. Letter R is rainforest that rises in the mists. It is home of native birds and legends, songs, and myths. The only tropical rainforest in the U.S. grow in Hawaii. Many of our endangered species live in the rainforest reserves on the islands of Kauai, Oahu, Molokai, Maui, and on the Big Island. Here, silver raindrops hang suspended in the dense humid air and rare birds like the endangered Ele Paio, Uamao, and Akepa flutter from branch to branch in the Ohia and Kolea Lao Nui trees. Wild Hawaiian boars root for food amongst the tall Amaumau ferns that grow along the forest floor. Remember that it takes lots of water to make a rainforest. It's a great place to get wet and muddy. R is also for rainbows. In Hawaii, you can see half rainbows, full rainbows, double rainbows, triple rainbows, and even night rainbows illuminated by the full moon. Did you know that rainbows are always in front of you when your back is to the sun? Ancient Hawaiians believed that rainbows were bridges used by the gods when they visited the world of men. S is for state song. King Kalakua wrote Hawaii Ponoi. It calls upon Hawaii sons and to promise loyalty. Hawaii Ponoi, our state song, was written by King David Kalakua and set to music by Professor Henry Berger with the Royal Bandmaster. The lyrics are written and sung in Hawaiian and call of all the Hawaii's young men to be loyal to their chief, Kamehameha. It was first performed in November 16, 1874 in Honolulu's Kawaiaha O Church and became the official song of the Kingdom of Hawaii, then Territory of Hawaii, and finally the State of Hawaii. S is also for statehood. At approximately 10.04 a.m. Hawaiian Standard Time on August 21, 1959, the United States House of Representatives voted 323 to 89, granting statehood to the territory of Hawaii, which became America's 50th state. Each year, on the third Friday in August, Hawaii celebrates Statehood Day. T is for tsunami. Tsunamis do not come often to Hawaii's shores, but when they do, these giant waves rise 100 feet or more. Tsunami is the Japanese word that describes a wave so large that it fills an entire harbor from the ocean floor to the top of the fishing boat masts. Giant landslides or massive underwater earthquakes create enormous waves that can travel hundreds of miles per hour. When these monsters get close to land, they hit the reef, suck out the water, and come crashing onto the shore. Hawaii, located in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, is always on guard against these devastating waves. T is also for the tide pools that form when the ocean covers the beach, twice a day. In Hawaii, tide pools are home to crabs, small fish, sea stars, sea cucumbers, and soft waving beds of seaweed. All of the animals must be able to survive in both wet and dry conditions because when low tide comes, the smaller pools turn warm and begin to dry up. U is for ukulele. Our U is ukulele. In Hawaiian, it means jumping flea. When you play it, fingers jump so fast on strings from key to key. In the summer of 1879, a ship carrying 400 Portuguese laborers arrived in Hawaii. After sailing 15,000 miles in four months, a man named Hiao Fernandez from the island of Merida was so happy to finally be off the boat, he pulled out his friend's bragohia a small guitar-like instrument, and started playing folk songs. The Hawaiians were so amazed at the way this strange little man's fingers jumped all over the fingerboard, they called the little guitar ukulele, which means jumping flea. 
Today, the ukulele accompanies all of Hawaii's music and has gained international acclaim. U is also for upcountry, the pastures and open land on the slopes of the great volcanoes where the modern Panoyolo live. In 1838, King Kamehameha III invited California Spanish Mexican vaqueros, cowboys, to teach Hawaiians how to manage the wild herds of longhorn steers brought to the islands by Captain George Vancouver. The Hawaiians called these cowboys Paniolo, a word derived from Espanol. The name was also given to the new Hawaiian cowboys. V is for a volcano. Powerful shield volcanoes made our island home. Jagged ai, smooth pahohoho, lava spew from cinder cones. Hawaii sits atop the world's biggest mountain range, all made from volcanoes. The tallest peak is Mauna Kea, the white mountain on the big island. It rises over 30,000 feet from its base in the deep ocean, several hundred feet higher than Mount Everest. You can ski on Mauna Kea in the morning and in less than 90 minutes be on the beach in the hot sun. Mauna Loa, the long mountain, is the largest mountain mass in the world, a hundred times greater than Mount Fuji. Haleakala, House of the Sun, on the mountain on the island of Maui, has a 21-mile wide crater. A new island named Loihi is being formed beneath the ocean just south of the big island. Scientists say Loihi will emerge in 10,000 years. V is also for our Volcanoes National Park, a 218,000-acre preserve established in 1916. There are two volcanoes in the park, Kilauea and Mauna Loa. Kilauea has been erupting continuously since January 1983. Lava is the molten rock that comes from the erupting volcano vent. Pahoho is Hawaiian term for a lava flow that has a smooth surface, while Ehe has a rough, jagged surface. W is for weather. The weather in Hawaii is always nice and warm. The sun shines bright and winds blow cool unless there is a storm. People from all over the world come to Hawaii in the winter to enjoy the beaches and tropical weather. The average daytime temperature in January is a warm 72 degrees Fahrenheit, and no matter what time of the year it is, it never gets below 50 degrees. However, it does get really cold on top of Mauna Kea, where snow caps its lava slopes. A warm wind called the trade wind blows constantly across the islands in an east to west direction. When four mass sailing ships piled the waters, the wind brought trade to these isolated islands. W also stands for our words of weather. The Hawaiians had hundreds of words for each type of rain, wind, and rain slash wind combination that blessed the islands. There were names for each cloud form or type of mist and each kind of breeze. There was the chilling rain, the gentle rain, the slanted rain, the misty rain, the rain that brought the rainbows. There were names for the wind that blew hard or soft or sheared along the mountains or beaches. How many different English names for rain and wind do you know? X is for X marks the spot. X marks the spot in the Pacific Ocean where the trade winds kept our swaying palms in motion. Over 130 islands and atolls make up the Hawaiian archipelago. Mark Twain described them as the loveliest fleet of islands that lies anchored in any ocean. Stretching over 1,600 miles, the Aloha State is the most isolated population center on the face of the earth. It lies 2,390 miles west of the continental United States, 3,850 miles from Japan, 4,900 miles from China, and 5,280 miles from the Philippines. Hawaii's land, our <clears throat> land area is 6,422.6 square miles, making it the widest state in America. X is also for exploration. 
Scientists believe that Polynesian explorers landed at South Point on the island of Hawaii around 500 AD. Later, in 1778, while hunting for waterway passages through North America, Captain James Cook stumbled across Hawaii. He was the first recorded European to arrive here. He named the place the Sandwich Isles, after the Earl of Sandwich, his patron. On his return from Alaska in 1779, Captain Cook was killed in a battle with Hawaiian warriors at the Kelekekua Bay on the Big Island. Why is for gods of yesteryear? It took so many Hawaiian gods to govern all of life. They watched from temples made of stone through the day and darkest night. The ancient Hawaiians worshipped gods and goddesses that ruled over nature. The four major gods were Kain, Ku, Lono, and Kanaloa. Kane was the god of sunlight, fresh water, and natural life. Ku reigned over war and all male power. Lono was the god of peace, fertility, winds, rain, and sports. And Kanaloa was the god of the ocean. Lesser gods and demigods were Pele, goddess of fire, La, the god of sun, Poliahu, the goddess of snow, Laka, the goddess of the hula, and Maui, the trickster. Why is also the color yellow, the sacred color of the kings? This was the color given to the island of Oahu, which has been the seat of government in Hawaii since the reign of Kamehameha the Great. Yellow is the color of the sun that gives life to the land, and it is the color of the hot molten lava that created the islands. Z. Z is for time zone. Time zone is our letter Z. Hawaiian standard time, they say. We see the final sunset of every American day. Because Hawaii lies in the middle of the North Pacific, and because it is so isolated, it has its very own time zone, called Hawaiian standard time. Hawaii lies far enough south that it doesn't need to recognize daylight savings time either. Hawaiian Standard Time runs two to three hours behind Pacific Standard Time, three to four hours behind Mountain Standard Time, and four to five hours behind Central Standard Time, and five to six hours behind Eastern Standard Time. Z is also for zoning, Hawaiian style. In the islands when you are late to a meeting or an appointment, people say you are zoning in Hawaiian time. The old Hawaiians lived a very relaxed lifestyle they started work when the sun came up and went to bed when the sun went down. Things were very simple. When the Westerners came, they couldn't understand why the Hawaiians weren't on time, and Hawaiians didn't understand why Westerners were so rushed. So in order to allow for these differences, they created a joke about Hawaiian time. When you're late, a little, it's okay because you're always slow. Hawaiian time.